there were coaches, there were parents, there were folks in the neighborhood who said, baby, you can do whatever you want to do, and you can be whatever that you wanted to be. That's former NFL player Greg Coleman talking about growing up in Jacksonville and being a part of the Scott Park legacy. Scott Park is located in the city's Magnolia Gardens neighborhood and named after African-American educator and author Dr. John I.E. Scott. Among Scott's many accomplishments, he was the first African-American in Florida to earn a Ph.D. In fact, at the age of 40, he was the only educator in Jacksonville with a Ph.D. It's no wonder that with such an inspirational namesake, this park has had its own influence on so many others. It was an escape. It was, uh, we call it the field of dreams. All your dreams on that football field, in the parks around Jacksonville, Florida. Your dreams on that football field, if you can see it and believe it, you can receive it and achieve it. Derek Gaffney spent a lot of time in Scott Park as a youngster and later went on to play eight years with the New York Jets. His brother Don was also a Scott Park regular before going on to become the first African-American quarterback at the University of Florida. I go back to the first professional players that I ever met. I met them right here in this park, watching them do their thing as they prepared to go to training camp. Um, I recall being, you know, 9, 10, 11 years old and watching these guys. Al Denson, for example, was the first real pro. And then, of course, Bob Hayes, Al Carmichael, Ken Burroughs. Ken Burroughs was an All-American. He's the first real All-American that I met. But I knew before he became an All-American, you know, so uh, that was a big deal. Today, the names of the men and women who grew up in Scott Park reads like a who's who of professional sports. Al Denson, Ken Burroughs, Charles Clark, Terry LeCount, Vince Coleman, Greg Coleman, Don, Derek, and Jabbar Gaffney, Sam Davis, Bob Hayes, Harold Carmichael, Noah Jackson, Carlissa Thomas, and we're only scratching the surface. But it's what's below that surface, what the park really means, that is its true legacy. And Scott Park became a haven because as I think about, and I have a photograph of some of the guys who were, were champions at Little League, uh, Astro B's football team uh, that played in the Gator Bowl and back then you gotta remember this was the, the late 60s and and where segregation was still uh, a dominant part of this history in, 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 in this city uh, and, and for a bunch of black kids uh, to go undefeated and to have our pictures taken in the Gator Bowl which was was the was the echelon of, of park sports uh, it's it's something that's hard to describe. A lot more went on here than just football, but you learned how to, to grow and to develop and how to socialize. You were learning how to be a, 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 a community uh, leader. You're learning how to develop into that. You're learning how to socialize, learn how to get along with others. I tell you what was the most rewarding piece for those guys that made it to the pros, like Kenny Burles and Harold Carmichael and Al Denson and Booby Clark and all of those guys, they would always come back to the park and it all, they would always work with us. I mean, would, I mean, to have a guy like Al Denson to teach Derek Gaffney how to, how to catch and then Derek would pass those on to his son Jabbar who played it into the league. And you know, it, it was just amazing. It was just that kind of, uh, you know, giving. You know, if, if I would say anything, those men in those neighborhoods and coaches that even those that didn't make it to the pros they were pros to us because they gave everything that they had i think people from around the united states need to come to jacksonville florida and come to this field here and see where talent is al Dunson, noah jackson uh the center from the Pittsburgh Steelers, Sam Davis, Bob Bullet Hayes, you know, Harold Carmichael, uh, Greg Coleman, Terry LeCount, Charles Williams, and many, many more came on the field right here. Just come and just walk here and you'll feel something special and you'll lead a different person.